I brought some apple juice home from Winchester Farmers Market yesterday and I'm uh, reducing some of it down uh, to make apple molasses. Now I first uh, came across this in a book by Michael Phillips called The Apple Grower which is, I, I've done a review of that book on my website and indeed on Amazon.co.uk uh, and it's a really lovely book, especially uh, if uh, you live in America, uh, it's worth reading otherwise. And um, I've never come across this idea, but basically this is rather like maple syrup. Uh, that's to say you begin with, uh, the, the, in this case, apple juice as opposed to maple sap and you evaporate it. You boil it very carefully. Uh, I'm using um, uh, an outdoor um, propane uh, stove here. You can do it over a charcoal fire or anything else. Careful if you're doing it over a wood fire because uh, you don't want loads of smoke to get in this. I have produced this over a wood fire and it worked very well but it's got a bit of a smoky flavour to it which not everyone likes. Anyhow, you basically evaporate the water off. Um, ah, I've got a long way to go yet. I think I've evaporated this by about 20% so a long way to go. As you get further towards the end you need to be very careful it doesn't stick and burn. Very simple, I like making jam really, and I'll um, bottle this like jam. Uh, when I've finished it, I'll um, pour it into sterilised uh, jars. Uh, it, the sugar content of it will be so high that rather like honey, um, it's too concentrated to support any sort of bacterial life or mould. So uh, it's a very uh, long lived product, it will keep for years. And you can use it on pancake, use it anything you'd use maple syrup for, a little bit on a pancake, put it into uh, cakes that you're baking, a spoonful or two. Uh, into a, uh, a gravy to sort of add a bit of colour and sweetness. Um, I'll show you uh, later on, hopefully, uh, once I've finished this process and bottled it, I'll, um, I'll show you what it looks like later. But essentially, uh, just as um, you can reduce maple sap down to a lovely thing called maple syrup, so you can take sweet cider, that is to say apple juice, and boil it down and make uh, apple molasses, which is uh, uh, a lovely uh, thing to have and I uh, thank you for, to Michael Phillips for uh, giving me the idea. I never knew there was such a thing, uh, although it, of course it's perfectly logical and very tasty.